Well, they may not be the last rock band, but we think they're one of the best. Yeah. It's Moniski. Hello. Hello. Hi. Oh, nice nice like, yeah, I love it. <laughs> How nice are you doing, guys? Okay. Amazing. Okay. You? Welcome back to Canada. I'm good, thank, thank you. you. Yes, we are looking forward to tonight's sold-out show. Yeah. How's the Rush tour been so far? Uh, good, good. Yeah. We had very, very nice shows. Uh, we started in Europe, then we had the MSG. Uh, we just played, casual. You know, yeah, just casual. MSG, Whatever. you know. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't want to make a big deal. We had a sold out <laughs> energy. And then we played Boston and Columbia and today Toronto. We're very happy yes. to be here. Yes. MSG was the warm up show for Toronto. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> now we're ready for Sorry, Canada. <laughs> what do you remember about your last time here? I think it was a pretty electrifying crowd, right? Yeah, it yeah, was the yeah. Best. yeah. Last time we were pretty amazed because um, we were coming from America, and you know, Americans say that, that Canadians are very kind and very, uh, not very energetic, but the crowd <laughs> was actually very, very loud. So Good. we were very happy, and we we were looking forward for tonight. Good. Well, Ethan, we have to apologize because we lost your bags. Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> don't worry about that. He's never coming back <laughs> yeah, to yeah, Canada. No, he will this. never come back to Canada. I can, I can lend never. you. Yeah, so like I didn't know anything about it. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. We need to one. I can lend you some clothes after this. I got of you. Of course. I got you. I got thank you. you. Thank you very so much. So you've had a couple uh, of, of big, big weeks um, this, this past month. Obviously, the MTV VMAs. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. Thank you. Second Thanks. time in a row they're performing live. That's not, yeah. that's not a regular thing. They don't often have people back-to-back -back years. Yeah. We're good. Yeah, that's true. So. They <laughs> liked our boobs last year, yeah, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, yeah. wardrobe function. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's been such a like a great thing like to be back there actually. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're really happy whenever like they call us to like do these such like big and massive events is such a like, you know, a good thing for us and it's really like we're really happy about it every time. Yeah. Yes, very now we have to do the third in a row so we can do the three peat like, yes. the, <laughs> yeah. like the Lakers. Yeah. Three times totally. in a row. Uh, did you bump into uh, any um, familiar faces backstage or? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we met a lot of artists. Yeah, Shakira, Demi Lovato, Anita, uh, Anita Dove Cameron, yeah, Sabrina Carpenter. Uh, <laughs> we were sitting very close to Doja Cat, but none of us had the guts to say hello. <laughs> uh, Are you big Doja fans? Yeah. Like of course. Of course. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and Taylor Swift blew you a kiss yeah. during yeah, the performance. Yeah, yeah. And I was very yeah, I so was true. very mean because I turned. You turned your back. Yeah, but it was not intentional. <laughs> it was too uh, into the performance. I'm so sorry. When I saw it, I felt, yeah. I felt like uh, yeah, yeah. I was so mean. Sorry, Taylor. Yeah, so, uh, uh, so Once again, thank you for the blessing. Sorry, Swifties. Yeah, well, yeah, blow, sorry, let's, let's, Swifties. let's blow a kiss back. There you go. Mwah. There we go. There we go. Um, a big day today announcing the deluxe version of the album, yeah. Rush. Yes, with five new songs on there. What can you tell us about it? Um, we, we uh, of course, first of all, we are very, very happy because every time we release new music, it's 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 very beautiful for us because we can wait to see the feedbacks and, and also we know that our fans, uh, um, the, the, the more music we put out, the happier they are. So, very good. But basically, um, we wrote Rush, uh, the album, when we were on tour and we were having this kind of lifestyle. So uh, we felt like that rush moment was not over yet. So we wanted to add all the new experiences because since we released the album, we had another tour and we had uh, so many new things coming up to us. So we, we just wanted to add all these new feelings that, that, we, that we lived since we released the album to the album itself because like the the project and the feeling is not over yet so it's like we're continuing we we're, we're keep on that track we're keeping on that track so we wanted to add new songs and keep describing how, also how we are maturing and changing while while everything is happening obviously honey are you coming is one of the five yeah yes. have you performed any of the other four yet yeah, uh, yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Two done. actually, because yeah, the driver two. we started playing it now, oh, yeah, and yeah. Trastevere we played it like two years ago, and since then our fans they were bombarding us every day, and they're like, "You bitches, why you don't put out this song? Uh, it's the best song." What the fuck? So now finally, <laughs> it's the moment. It's very <laughs> now they won finally. It's very funny <laughs> because be we out. have that song since three years. Yeah. We played it at Circus Maximus, which is the biggest gig we ever did, and it's unreleased. So it's. Pretty funny story. 
It's a good moment for it yeah. to come yeah. out finally. Yeah, very. Yeah, just be patient. November 10th, it's coming, okay? It's on the way. <laughs> finally. Yeah, Rush, are you coming? Uh, I've got a new favorite song for when I'm heading out to dinner. My fiance is taking forever doing her makeup. And I'm stood at the door with five minutes until the reservation. Because now I just say, Honey, are you coming? <laughs> it's the best. I love it. It's just like when you recorded that song, it, like it sticks in your head where you just like every two seconds going, Honey, are you coming? <laughs> like it's just so good. Thank you. Yeah, it's, it can be useful yeah. in many different For, situations. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Intercourse. Yeah. yeah. My dad is also a beekeeper. He he has honey. He makes honey. Oh, like yeah. he actually produces honey. Oh, oh wow. God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. So I sent I sent him the song the other week and I was like, You have to use this in one of your bee videos. He's always just posting bees. I should have brought you some of his honey actually. He would have loved that. So cool. Yeah. Um one of the songs you recently incorporated into your set list. I don't know if it was just a one off at MSG the other night, but Kendrick Lamar, you did a cover yeah. of his yeah. song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Now we added to, to the set list because um, we had a very, very long tour. So the set list was the same since uh, a lot and we got bored pretty easily. <laughs> so we wanted to change uh, the, the covers that we were doing. And um, Humble is a great song. We like um, covering songs that are far from our universe. Of course, we are not uh, uh, rappers. <laughs> but but we like to make things in our own style and uh, and also it's it's a huge song all over the world especially here in the US so it's beautiful to have the chance to have a song that that the crowd knows very well and interacts with you and you can let them sing or like whatever but it's it's very beautiful to feel that energy that kind of energy and also we try to do it as as tough as we could yeah so mm -hmm. yeah, yeah it's a very beautiful Metal moment. But every time we play it, it's I look down in metal. the crowd, and there's it's these true. couple of like these girlfriends that are our fans, and they bring their poor boyfriend that is just standing there. And then every time this song comes on, they're like, ah! and they start going crazy. <laughs> yeah, you can see people. So we gave the boyfriends yeah. a good yeah. song. Oh, so <laughs> also, you know who the the security guys? Yeah, <laughs> true. They're standing like this old old gig long, and then when we start the song, they're like. Fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, That's even how you know that. you're having a good show when the yeah. security guy gets yeah. into it. Because yeah. normally they're just exactly. like yeah. they're just like motionless yeah. the whole time. That is true. But I didn't I didn't I didn't notice all these things. You're too far uh, in yeah. the yeah. back. Yeah. I'm yeah. definitely the drummer. Yeah. Like, with <laughs> all the lies I can't see nothing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every time. We're gonna have to start filling Ethan in after these shows. Just <laughs> like, here's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happened tonight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we should uh, show recap. Yeah. Um, and also, you guys are so humble, so it's like it's a perfect cover for you, guys, <laughs> right? Yeah, thank it's you. Almost like was that kind of? I felt like when I saw the MSG video of you performing that song, it was almost like a, a direct response to that article. I don't want to bring it up again, but <laughs> it's it's fun because it's a it's a nice coincidence because we decided to do the song before the article, but you know, manifesting. There you go. <laughs> so. There you go. Uh, you're going to be back on October 15th in Canada for another show in Vancouver, BC. Yeah. Yes. Now, obviously, we're a little bit biased. You've got Toronto tonight. They're going to be good. But what about <laughs> what about Vancouver? I think they'll be quite good as well. Yes. Yeah, we will. Like we we don't know uh, Canada and like the differences inside Canada itself to, to say that we know the Toronto crowd better than the Vancouver one. Uh, we just hope that both are going to be very, very loud. Yeah. We're yeah. going to give our 100% both of the times. But of course, Toronto is going to be better. There you go. Of course. Of course. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can let us know in the comments below. We're going to start sure. a riot in the comments. Uh, you've got some sold out shows in Japan as well later yeah. this year. Yeah. Um, what's it like to know that you have a big following. I, th I feel like it's difficult to picture Asia for people that have never been there. It's like, you know, um, undiscovered territory for a lot of bands and groups and artists. Like when you go there and you see that response, that must be wild. Yeah, it's, it's, it was actually one of the most surprising things that, that happened for us in our career because they're, um, they have their culture, which is very different from, from ours, and they have their music, they have uh, J-pop, K-pop, and it's very, very hard to uh, get into that market. So when we saw last year, last summer, that we were going to very important festivals and we were having big crowds and we were stopped, stopped in the streets, and like uh, Japanese musicians, they were reaching to us and all of this stuff, very, very surprised. and. Um, same when we saw that that the shows were going sold out so fast. It's 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 really something magical because we feel like 
we we got into into their their culture we got into their hearts somehow and yeah. this is very beautiful because it was also just with the music so uh, we really feel like they got our message and they're very like really enjoying what we do um, it's very beautiful to go there. Well, I'm sure they're looking forward to the new deluxe album as much as we are. Um, Rush, are you coming? November 10th. Get ready and have fun tonight. Maneskin, thanks Thank for having you. us. Thank you so Thank you. much.